So up for sale is my uh, 2007 uh, FJ Cruiser. I'm shooting this video on my GoPro to, uh, so that uh, perspective buyers can get a good view at it. Um, it's sitting on pretty much brand new tires. I think those are 33 inches, I believe. Um, and you can see the tread on them is, is fairly good. I'll show you that in a bit. It's got the TRD rims on it. It's got a rooftop tent, which I'll post some pictures on what that looks like. Um, the car is a little bit grimy just on the outside because we've got water restrictions in California and I, I'm not really allowed to wash the car. Um, it also has an awning which is on the side from Tapui. Check out those guys' website. They're just absolutely amazing. Um, really good tents. I'll talk about the tents a little bit later. Um, the truck has the uh, rock rails on the bottom. Uh, those are factory standard. Um, you also see that it's got a bit of an aggressive stance that's uh, because it has a leveling kit um, I think that's probably the best way to go I didn't want it to look like a monster truck I just want it to look a little meaner um, it's got a um, Baja rack which I think is the best rack you can get for a rooftop tent it has a cradle up top which is where you could stash more bags and water cans and stuff it also has the optional uh, rack mount for lights, uh, which is an additional couple of hundred bucks. Um, and then the rooftop tent itself is actually sitting on the rack. The reason why the rack is great because it actually sits flat. So the tent actually flips backwards and you've got a ladder here that you can climb up. Um, it also has a reverse camera for um, when you're backing into stuff that was installed by an electrician uh, if you don't know about FJ's uh, these are wicked cars um, the reason why I'm selling it is because uh, we need to buy another house and uh, I need all the cash I can get which is a bit sad on my YouTube channel you'll see I've got various other um, vehicles that I've done in the past Volkswagen buses I did an FJ 40 before this um, and so uh, not really moving on to another project right now I just need the cash um, as you can see the spare is in primo condition um, this window here opens up so you can get quick access the back door also opens obviously cool feature is this locks up um, I've got some camping stuff in there because I'm about to go on a trip um, what does come with the car if we hit buy it now is this Coleman kitchen which I'll post a picture when it's fully deployed it's a camp mate these are super rare. I had to hunt for one of those for about 12 months. Um, and the contents are in there as well, which is great. Um, the rest of the stuff that you see is really not... These, these are all mine, Marotta packs. Um, I've done a little bit of off-road with it. Um, it also comes with this mat, which is from an FJ40, which fits perfectly, ironically. Um, you know, it's had some wear and tear, some cosmetic stuff. But that's from, you know, loving use. Um, nothing's fried on it or needs to be replaced. The seals are in good condition. Uh, I'm selling this because it's not really my off-road vehicle. That thing is. Um, Two-inch hitch that you can see on the bottom. I use that to lug around the dirt bike. Um, this does not come with a vehicle. I've still got to manage to carry my dirt bike somehow. This is the picture of the tent, the rack. Um, and then what you'll see at the front is that it's pimped out with a lot of lights. Uh, I like lights, let's just leave it at that. So what we've got on the bottom are the Hella Black Magics, and um, those are absolutely wicked. They're kind of black when you look at them, and then when they light up, they do a really, really great job. That's on this um, special light bar that is super, super, super rugged. It also has a factory skid plate underneath. You can see there's no oil drops or anything. Um, I change the oil on this thing regularly, religiously, if you say. Um, my old man's a mechanic, so I can't really have the excuse of not um, changing the oil. We've got this LED light bar, which is wicked. I think it's 72 watts. That lights, the, it's, it's like a small sun. That's really, really bright. And then up top, I've got these, uh, if you don't know about this brand, check them out, Light Force. They're um, Australian, which is where I'm from. Uh, they're probably the best lights on the market um, in terms of durability. You can shoot a shotgun at it and it'll still light up. Um, and also the type of light. Those are spots. So I've got four spots going straight out, which is wicked. Um, let's take a look at the inside. And you'll see the upholstery is in good condition. 
Um, I'll have it detailed before I deliver it. Um, I can stick my iPhone in there, it's just a little clip. Um, I've also got this RAM mount, um, which comes with the vehicle. You can basically plug in a, uh, an iPad there, and I have an iPad that I will throw in, it's a version 1. I'll wipe out the memory and I'll throw that in. And that's cool because you can DJ music through the sound system. It's got a subwoofer, um, parking sensor, um, and it has a power converter in the back, um, which I've used. It's great. Another add-on that you'll see is this panel here. Um, what originally is here is a place to put key, um, coins. Um, and you'll see that I have driving lights, which are the Hella, the guys up front, the roof lights, what I call the zombie lights, which is really the um, the LED bar up front. And then backup light, uh, I'll show you a light that I've installed in the back, which is great when you're deploying the tent. And also the rear view camera, which is, it shows the picture on here and I'll show you in a sec. So you'll see I'm just about to go on a trip. Um, I've got some light seat covers in the back, but pretty good nick overall. All of the lights up here have been upgraded in the front and back. That was a hundred dollar kit with LEDs, so it's super bright and very efficient. Um, start the car up. It's a six-speed um, manual, as you can see. Um, very forgiving. Um, wrong key. See, it has 108,000 miles on it. Um, if you know about Toyota engines, that means it's probably about halfway through its life. I've put the last eight on over the last 12 months. Uh, we use it just on uh, camping trips, etc. Um, it has the, you know, little cubby hole there. Uh, compass, temperature, uh, inclinometer, stereo system with subwoofer, um, and it's very straightforward. The controls, uh, everything works on it. We'll start it up. You know, it's got a brand new battery um, that I replaced just because I get paranoid about batteries that I don't know how long I've been in the car. Um, you know, the stereo works. And it's uh, a really good sound, actually, especially with the subwoofer in the back. Um, so if you have any questions, please uh, shoot me a question. Let's pop the hood and take a look at that. Um, hood release. So really good shape. You can put a second battery there. Uh, the electrical is done by uh, an auto electrician for all the wiring. Um, so it's in good nick. You see that the wiring for everything upstairs actually runs through here which is really neat. He did a nice job there. And then the rear light is this little guy here which is really bright. That's really all you need. Um, and you'll see the rear view camera. You can activate the rear view camera by hitting the backup lights and you'll see that there's an image that'll pop up. It's coming up now and you can also the headlights you'll see they'll pop up as well. So cool vehicle and uh, happy bidding again any questions send me uh, an email I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions it's got the steering controls cruise control the aircon is really 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 good uh, that's about it good luck bidding I figured I should probably also show the the lights these are on when the headlights are on obviously and to activate them you'll see that they'll indicate what is working and what isn't which is pretty neat and the backup light will generate an image, see, in your rear view of what's sitting behind you. Um, so that's nice. Or you can do it with a switch or when you put the car in reverse, it'll kick that in. So it's obviously triggered by the um, reverse lights. And then in terms of uh, lights, I'm going to just show you real quickly if I turn all the... So you'll see hopefully that on the camera if it captures it and then up front you'll see the spotlights up there which are really really pencil thin 
the light bar and then the um, which are again just super bright the two in the middle have yellow bulbs in them and the two on the outside have uh, standard bulbs the bulbs on the headlights have also been changed and upgraded um, not HIDs but they've got um, I can't remember the brand it's a it's a really bright bulb so that's that uh, and again happy bidding and any questions feel free to send me an email great